York City. You're watching the CW11 Morning News. And Larry's raising the roof. He's live in Westchester County showing us how modular homes come together. Westchester County, that's what love I'm the mascot. Yeah. Hey guys, you're gonna love this. Larry Hoff's raising the roof. And the scary part, he has the nail gun to prove it. Hey, Larry, how's it going? Little home building. You've got to be a licensed professional. Peek in on this one. Come on inside here, too. Modern technology. Nail gun, no kidding. Go ahead. Slap a couple down there, too. Don't mess around. That's about a full of pressure coming at you. John, welcome to... This is Westchester Modular Homes. I heard Patty talking. This is not Westchester County. We're clear up in Dutchess County, New York. Oh, here's mine right here, too. Take a look here, gang. You come here to the warehouse, and this is where they build homes. These are modular homes, and we just went by the starting. This is the flooring area, isn't it, John? This is the floor deck area. Yes, it is. Now, we're building homes. Oh, my goodness. My air gun. Hang on to this thing. It's like if I walk around with an air gun, isn't it? Now, people need to know, we're not building trailers here. These are full-scale homes built to code. They, these are built to the same code that you would stick build a home to. That's correct. All right. In how many days do you get, let's say, a center hall colonial? You could take a 4,000 square foot home and we physically build it in this factory within six days. It's at the end of the production line and it's 80% complete. All right. You see it. Floor right here. Lenny, you know all about this stuff. You're good with carpentry. Let's bring it on in, you guys. You see this with the big hauling here, with the big cranes bringing in the walls. So we're basically framing a house right before we're their eyes right now. framing a house right underneath 110,000 square foot of roof here. Now this when that a, crane starts working, it's really going to look good, isn't it, John? It's going to look fantastic. Larry. Once that crane starts working, it's going to be great. <laughs> Let me go get my maps then. I'll help you out, John. Trust us, everybody. I had to go run in here. Once that wall starts coming our way, it's all going to come together right before our very eyes, Linda. And we're going to be making Center Hall Colonials very similar to this one. So that's the world here, too. Right on here, we probably have maybe the uh, upper floor, a couple, bed couple bedrooms and bathrooms. Swing around, we got our magic. Oh. Do they know timing or what? So here we go, walls coming in. Again, this is Westchester Montana Homes. Log on CW11.com for more information, everybody. You get your home built to custom specifications, and it's done in days. Back to you. Mary, I need some work done. Can you hire me two of those guys? Probably for like a month, I think. If I could just get two of them, I think I could get all my work done. That's a big no. No, he can't hear me. Like, oh, yes, anything you say, Linda. Uh, here's what's going on right now. It'll never happen. 63 degrees right now. I always try to get it done by the summer, and it never happens. Our house in the middle of our street. Our house in the middle of our... Our house, it has a crowd. There's always something happening, and it's usually quiet now. Uh, in the meantime, Larry's raising the roof, and he's working hard. He's building homes. Did you find me any help, Larry? Oh, I know. You love real estate. Pick out something you like here. I'm a fan of the Colonial. I like the gabled roof Colonials as well. Come on open here, too. There we go. I kind of like this one myself. Take a look right now. The floor, the framing, the plasterboard or the white wall is going onto it. You're seeing kind of how it all works here at Westchester Modular Homes. You build them in the modules here, the squares, and this is not a mobile home. This is going to be a custom home. The when it's all completed. Larry. Okay, let's bring the roof on in here too. Now, John, you're promising me in six days, uh, Center Hall Colonial is going to be coming out of here, but are coming out in pieces. They're coming out in pieces. Typically, a typical Colonial of this size, which was customized by the customer. This is a uh, two-story. Obviously, this is the second floor. You're looking at the bedrooms here, and this house is completely customized according to what the customer was looking for. Uh, they probably maybe started with one of our basic plans and they modified it to suit their needs, added to bedroom sizes, bathroom, layout, jacuzzis, whatever they want. So people pretty much customize. They don't just go off the shelf saying, hey, I like this. And these are good looking homes right here too. They'll come in here and do all the little features they want. Absolutely. Very rarely does somebody pick something off the shelf. They can okay, customize come in here. it. Let's see. This is a good moment of truth right here too. Find out how they frame it up. Take a look here. Roof just getting set right on dead. Really, you're seeing it right here in front of everybody. You put it together. Now when the modules, when the squares are shipped out and they go to the foundation, whatever town that's in, who puts it together? We do. Uh, 
we're responsible for not only building it here in the factory, we deliver it with our own trucks, we set it with our own crew, and we actually have our own 120-ton crane. Well, it's one big caravan, we go out there and we set, we set a four-module house, 3,000 square feet in one day. There you go. Hey, now, Linda, do you want gables on this one for yourself or what? Yeah. Or do you want to go something a little more traditional? You make the call because we can do it and I, get it out of here I'm probably this afternoon. Are you kidding? This afternoon? What? A little traditional I am. I'm feeling a little traditional moment here, Larry. It won't last long, but that's what right I'm Right by the lake in Pennsylvania, huh? <laughs> It'll look great. Log on CW11.com for more yes. information. Thank See you in a little bit, Linda. We're yeah. getting out the big crane neck. That's the Four? highlight of the show. Outstanding. I love the big crane. I don't know why I like that goofy stuff. But... Big big crane. Crane. Cool. My but daughter I'm loves so... cranes every Thanks. time she sees one. Mommy, look. I have to stop to and look at them. She's so amazing. Probably. Yeah. She loves dinosaurs, too. <laughs> All right. Still to come on the CW11 Morning News. What would you sell your soul for? Time is 7.42. Wave hi to Larry and company. Don't go away, because we'll be right back. And Larry Huff live this morning from Westchester Modular Homes. We've been building homes from scratch this morning inside the warehouse. Now we're ready to ship them. Live report coming up. Plus, later this hour, Larry Hoff is live. He is live in Westchester County showing us how modular homes come together. Plays the toughest Larry's night. been building homes all morning, and he's doing quite a job. They let him hold a nail gun, and the he dorm? didn't do a thing with it Versus because it's very dangerous. Cable? You have to be quiet at some point, Larry. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're talking stuff here. We got, it. we got our kit ready to go here. Linda, is it a dormer or a gable? It's Tell a me, gamer. 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 Come on, here we go. Get a lot of this. <laughs> Man, we've been working all morning inside the warehouse. You saw it all. Here at Westchester Modular Homes, they start from scratch and they build these, and this will all turn into a center hall colonial. Let's bring it on over right now. Now, explain how this is working, John. You've done all this work, you got these different. Well, like it's the like blocks here, the building blocks are ready to go, and then you put them together. Let's not stand underneath yeah, that. Let's not. Whatever reason, <laughs> be safe right now. Move it on over here too. This becomes a big traveling show now. That's it. We've got all four modules. This is a 2,400 square foot home. We're about to transport it to the job site right now. The crane's going to leave, and by the end of the day today, this house will be set on the foundation. The roof will be raised. It's 80 percent complete. The kitchen cabinets are in. The countertops are in. Drywall is painted, bathroom vanities, tubs, jacuzzis, all done. Six days. Six, it took to do that, days. folks. Because there are a lot of people fainting right now that are on about their ninth month trying to remodel, you know, back uh, in a minute of the suburbs right now. Now, I I've got to explain. When you look at this, you're thinking we've got a trailer here. This is not. This will be a home. It's just built in modules like this in the squares, and they put them together. And so it's kind of like a building block set. It is. Basically, what we do is we stick build inside the factory. Six Very days nice later, here we go. Okay, Linda, now, as he was talking about, most people customize as well. You kind of have a basic plan you start with, but then you do all the special little things you like. So this is the world here, man. Thank you very hey, much, Joe. We had a good time here. Again, Thanks for being Westchester here. Modular Homes. Take a look, Linda. The caravan's about ready to head out, and if you're on a state route, do not, I repeat, do not get behind this, because it could be a slow drive. So we're getting out of here real quick. Back to you guys. Okay. Already, you're Thank over you, your time. Bye, sweetie. Wow, laying <laughs> a smackdown today. Oh my goodness. He's out. He's done. Uh, still to come on the CW11 Morning oh, News. Take a walk on the wild side.